this big bone. Oh, oh, where am I? Wait, oh yeah, I'm just having a dream. I'm having a dream. Oh, I look good in this dream. Check the smile. Oh, ladies. How you ladies doing today? You look good if I may say so myself. Now let's not waste any time and just go right up to my room. As you can see, I already have the handcuffs. So what do you say we all have a little menage a trois? Hold the fuck up. Yo, Baraka, is that you? Uh, wait a minute, is that you, Raiden? Well, 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 looks like the tables have turned. Look who's ugly now. Man, if you don't shut your little bitch ass up, I bet you're even looking like this. I can still pull more holes than you. Yo, ladies. Come on now. I see the way you're looking at me, girl. Come over here. Look at that ass. Check out that ass, girl. That's international booty. I'm from Brazil. You know you want some of this international booty, girl. Ew. What the fuck was that? Did you just shit yourself? Oh, poor Raiden. Look like you couldn't pull a goddamn thing, Raiden. Look, why are you just doing all a favor? And get the hell out of here, please. Oh, wait, Raiden, one more thing. Fuck you. Oh, fuck me, huh? Oh, wait, Raiden, I'm gonna play. It's only a dream. Wait, ladies, don't go nowhere. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, ah. Please, please, oh, my God. Oh, oh. Today's episode of the Remedy Show is provided by... Misunderstood shadowling. What? Just, just not an agree. He has a lot of love to give. Well, all I'm saying is, Thomas, in your past, it's been far easier to just blend in 
when you make yourself stand out like this, yeah, it can be good, but a lot of times, it can be not so good. He's trying not to be harsh so as not to be too distressing, but he is the source of your anxiety. This is odd. He is odd. Logan. But he does have a point. Might one's effort to find happiness in unique self-expression lead to the unhappy result of being the odd one out? I mean, yeah, I see the concern, but I, I don't think that should keep us from taking that risk. If it's not hurting me or others, sometimes being the odd one out can be fun and sweet for yourself. Being the odd one out was my whole presence here, and it was not fun. Aha! That is the crux of this issue. Virgil is a little too familiar with rejection and has had his fail. What? No. He doesn't realize that sometimes standing out can feel outstanding. And I would know. Oh, well, shoot. Maybe we need to make you feel included as a valued part of me so that you don't feel wrong for being different. Roman, that was... Astute. I know! And you used the word iridescence earlier. You were on a clever streak today, which is unusual for you. I know! Wait, what? Tom! Oh, I literally almost took your whole face out. Patton, you now have our attention. That's what your hair reminds me of! Nymphadora Tonks, the metamorph guess from Harry Potter. Okay, both of you, with your big words today. Steal my thing, no big deal. Harry Potter! Did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Right? right? Or is that what you were quoting from, like Dumbledore from the fourth movie? Like, what was that? It was such a weird line translation from the book to the, the movie. No, uh, it was more of a Harry Potter themed idea I had just now, but that was, um, that was great. Oh, I know. Virgil, Harry Potter was this amazing book series that combined magic and fantasy and giant trolls and like troll bogeys. Yeah, I know what Harry Potter is. But it also gave us this really cool system that helps us figure out where we fit in. Oh, I can sort of see where you're going with this, Thomas. Hats off to you, Ben. Ah. Aragog, a ginormous spider in the Harry Potter universe. Wait, he's bold, no. he's terrifying, and no matter where we all fit in, we are always brave. That was not where I was going with that patent, but point well made. It must be stopped. Hogwarts houses. In the books, the students get sorted into four different Hogwarts houses based off of the qualities that they exhibit. Oh, that makes more sense. Okay, so you're saying this magical, some might say, nonsensical talking headwear sorting system could be of use to us? Well, although being simply a device in the books, people reading them also began to be curious as to where they may be sorted if they went to Hogwarts, and a lot of Harry Potter house quizzes appeared online. It sort of helped promote this idea that we may be different, but we're all valued and important and part of the same school. But the school's not real. It's a metaphor, Erlenmeyer trash. Oh, school him! Don't be mean, though. Fantasy worlds are my jam, broham. Listen, I'm just doing my best over here. Oh. You guys, so what's the plan here? We're gonna sort you! Sort me? Well, sure, I myself am a Hufflepuff, but you all are different facets of my personality with different strengths and weaknesses. It may take some discussion, but I am sure that we can thoughtfully deduce where each of you- Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin. There we go! End of Sandersides video. Until next time, everyone. Oh, yay! Whoa, 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 whoa! Why am I a Slytherin? What are the qualifications? Well, you're the... You're the dark and sinister one. Pump the brakes, Princey! That is not what qualifies the Slytherin! Well, the other houses are definitely taken by us, so it's the only one you could possibly fit into. And that is a great example of what we are not going to do with Virgil. Okay, look, fantasy is not my jam. My jam of choice is Crofters, and this video isn't even sponsored. I'm just a fan. Crofters, the only jelly I will put in my belly. What? Was that? Yeah, I mean, I love me a good spoonful of Crofters, but that was a little out of left field, Logan. What is happening? Fruit spreads aside, I've done some thinking on this fantasy organization process, this uh, dubby decimal system. Nice, thanks. Whether or not the results of these quizzes that determine which Hogwarts house one belongs to are authentic, they can reinforce one's sense of self. So, if this is necessary to help Virgil feel better about himself, then I support it. With that said, let's break down these houses, shall we? Sure. You, uh, you have Gryffindor? The brave ones! Well, yeah, but that's an oversimplification. They're also determined and chivalrous. And this is the one Roman thinks he's at? Uh, you do I? Then there's Ravenclaw, typically typically known as the wise and clever ones. Ah, oh, that is me, isn't it? The ones who think they're smarter than everyone else? Well, I don't think I'm smarter than everyone else. I know I'm smarter than everyone else. Then there's Hufflepuff, the loyal and friendly ones. Oh, is that what you think of me, Robin? I mean, yeah, you're the softest little puffball we got, Padre. You don't have to be mean to me. Oh! And then there is Slytherin, who, yes, get a rep in the books for being the bad guys, but they're mainly known for being ambitious, cunning, strong leaders. But that... 
That's not me. Yeah, no. Hmm. What the heck the heck? Five abs in one peck. What a visual. What was that? Just a little something I like to say when I'm confused so that I'm not alone in my confusion. See, it works. Virgil is not a Slytherin. Oh, darn, it was so close to being perfect. I'm sorry to ruin that for you. You didn't ruin anything. If you keep talking bad about yourself, I'm going to physically fight you. No, no, that is the opposite of helpful, Pat. Nobody talks about my child like that. Okay. Oh, okay, buddy. They are right, though, anxiety. I mean, this is why I think it's a good exercise. Maybe this will help me to look at my aspects from different angles. Maybe it's not so simple. Uh, why is it never simple? Yes, for instance, you, Roman, sound more like a Slytherin. What? I do not. Oh, so you don't think you're a strong leader? You don't think you're cunning? I'm not evil, says him. Slytherins are not all evil, okay? Let's just get rid of that idea right now. But... Voldemort? Oh, jeez. Well, okay, Padden seems more like a Ravenclaw to me. Ooh, it's blue. Um, that doesn't follow at all. Indubiously. Well, he's always the one coming up with those witty puns. You call those witty? Or you call those glasses? I mean, yes, I'm not sure if you're implying something. Well, I don't think they'll pick up. They don't have a cell phone. Ding! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'm gonna walk that off for a second. There it is, good. See, this is what I mean by rethinking quality. Logan well, seems more like a Gryffindor. You see, Patton makes statements like that, and you think he is a Raven Glow. Uh, why is that now, Patton? Because he's my hero. We get it. You're adorable. Yeah, Patton may have a point. I mean, Hermione was a Gryffindor, and she was the smartest of them all. Gryffindors are also known to have short tempers, which I think could apply to both of you. Shut up, oh, Scott! I did not miss that. Gryffindors are self-righteous and arrogant. Oh, okay, Patton. I wasn't totally convinced before, but maybe Logan is a Gryffindor. I do see that. Right. Also, they are impulsive and have no regard for the rules. Does that sound like me? And also, that would what? Leave anxiety as Hufflepuff? You, I mean, you don't all have to be in different houses. Oh, but well, 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 wouldn't that be nifty? How would I be a Hufflepuff? You are hardworking. Working hard to make town as parent, not vigilant. Parent of vigilant. Did you like that? I just made that word up just now. I'm basically Shakespeare. I don't work that hard. Oh, Hufflepuffs are also modest. Less modest, more self-deprecating. What's that? I talk bad about myself. I will physically fight you! Hufflepuffs are also known to be honest, and you certainly keep things 100. That was nice, Logan. Yep. Honest, patient, and impartial. Impartial? Yep. They tend to not take sides unless given good reason to. <laughs> One thing that I am not in this group is impartial. I am always bringing up the constant anything you guys talk about. Oh, I mean, I don't think that's exactly what Pat meant. I don't know. Plus, I'm hardly patient. No biggie. If that's not what you feel you are, we can keep this magical mishmash going. Prince can be Hufflepuff. Okay, but this sorting has to make some sense. Uh